Hello everyone, Campbell Marshall, KPRC Channel 2 Meteorologist. I started out this morning on Allen Parkway with the Susan G. Coleman Race for the Cure. This was the shot that I looked at this morning. Wow, what a great start to the day. Hope you had a good day as well. Tomorrow, we expect it to be even better. High temperature on Saturday, 82 degrees at Bush Intercontinental and Hobby Airport. Galveston, 83, well short of what the records are, thank goodness. It's a good day, and tomorrow, expect we... We expect it to be a little bit better. Here's a broad shot here looking at the state of Texas. See the shower activity here? Most of that's not hitting the ground. There's a little disturbance moving in, but a lot of that's not hitting ground because of the drier air. I'll show you that in a second as well. Stationary front along the east coast still providing rain along the east coast and all of this front. This is going to help to kind of keep the hurricane that's Matthew down in the Caribbean away from the east coast of the United States, at least for right now, it's still got a ways to go here. I want you to notice here, though, look at the dry look, circulation here, this upper level low here, and the drier air that's coming in the back of that. This dry air right there, dark colors here mean drier air as well. That's moving in toward Houston for tomorrow, and that's going to give us a chance for a little bit more sunshine for tomorrow. This whole thing is setting up what our weather forecast is going to be for the next week or so. Dry conditions here in the middle here. As we go into next week, this is going to be our next front that's going to come through. And it's going to come through probably about Thursday right now. As we look at what's going on with the hurricane, Category 4 now. The models want to keep it coming straight up between Haiti and Jamaica, come across Cuba, into the Bahamas, and then skirting up along the eastern seaboard. Now, the models are not in total agreement about what's going to happen there, so we'll see what happens as this goes forward here. This front is actually going to dissolve, really. It's not really going to be an issue going forward, but we'll watch what happens here as this comes up. And now, I, I have it close to the coast here, but there's no way of really knowing if it's going to be close to the coast or farther out. We do know that this next front's going to come through, and that's going to help push it uh, to the east. At least some of the models want to do that. So the eastern seaboard is going to really be keeping a close eye on what's going to be happening here over the next five to ten days as this uh, hurricane moves on up. It's Category 4 now was a Category 5 overnight, 160 miles an hour, now down to a Category 5, 4 of about 150 mile an hour winds. So we look toward the temperatures going forward here. Mid 60s to 68 degrees, 88 degrees going forward here. Look what happens toward the middle of the week here. We see these temperatures drop down into the mid 60s as we go toward next week. So it's going to be a rather nice week ahead with slight rain chances going forward here. The Texans and Titans at it. NRG Stadium. The gates open at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, about 64 degrees, going up to about 78, uh, about 86 degrees for your high temperature. Get out and enjoy.